This video is a spin-off to an upcoming video in which I explain what Quora 3 does, the current state of Neon, how Star Labs made some bad mistakes, and how media covered the totally wrong things. Pizza. I got like a billion comments saying that the promo videos I leaked are just real people, the whole thing was a marketing scam, and no way Core R3 can generate this much realism, and I don't blame you. But while studying Pranav Mystery's presentation, I found out the very early versions of Core R3 committed some obvious rendering errors. More on that tomorrow. But then I wondered whether I was going to find some smaller errors in the promo videos, and indeed, I found a lot. Some are small and require a lot of zooming in to notice, and some are easier to show. This scene has a lot of problems, because the algorithm of Core R3 couldn't handle that many moving elements while keeping shadows and lighting in mind. For example, here it managed to render the rope behind the fingers, but here it completely forgot to do so, and here it couldn't understand the relationship between the hand and the fibers behind it, so it deleted part of the hand. This for example will be solved when it better understand that human hands don't suddenly lose a piece like this. Also, that I think he looks weird. Core R3 is an impressive engine that literally learns how real people move and talk, and tries to create a similar video using its understanding of what was happening in the original video. These renders are based on real videos that looked similar to these, and Core R3 recreated them. It's hard to explain how, but think of it this way. The original video is reality, Core R3 is your brain, and the rendered videos are how you perceive reality. If we all look at the same thing, we won't see the same thing in our brains. If you and I I looked at my reflection in the mirror, only I will be able to spot the minute details like imperfections in my face, because I'm better trained to see them because I examine myself in the mirror more than you examine me when you simply look at me. It's why a lot of people think they look uglier than how other people think they see them. So these promotional videos still have errors because this is how Core R3 thinks it saw the original actors. It managed to recreate the expressions and body movements, but it still fails to understand how physics works sometimes and the very minute details in what it's drawing. And by the way, the promo videos are rendered by version 0.8 of Core R3, so it's not even in beta yet. It can still glitch as I showed before in this doctor's rendering, the entire model shakes, but tomorrow I'll show you how it used to even fail creating convincing expressions because it hadn't learned yet how human faces work when it was still in version 0.1. By the way, according to The Verge, Pranav Mystery swears that the promo videos are entirely pre-rendered computer-generated videos, so they weren't captured in real time from the inside of Core R3. Star Labs is a new company that has little experience in organizing their events or marketing their technologies. They only decided they want to go to CES last July, when they discovered that Core R3 can do more than they expected. They got excited, and things got out of hand when everyone thought that these videos are fully functioning neons, and the folks at Star Labs failed to manage the situation correctly. These are just interpretations of reality by Core R3, and it can create similar ones once it gets the hang of it. These are not full neons, but full neons will come in the future once Project Spectra is good. Again, more on that tomorrow, so stay tuned and subscribe with notifications on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.